Hello students, today we will be going over 6.3 percent proportions. This is page 5 in your gold packet. Our objective, I can solve a percent problem using a proportion. Solve, it says solve, answer in sentence. And I'm not going to make you answer in a sentence. I just want you to solve. Make sure you show your work though. I am going to be picky about that. So, remember I taught you the fish. You should be able to do this. Do all these problems with the fish. You start right here and you go around like that. This times this, 50 times x equals 100 times 42. So we have 50x equals 100 times 42 is 4200. Then we divide by 50 because this is multiplication and you do the inverse operation. Then Go ahead and get your handy dandy calculator. And we put 4,200 in there first, divided by 50. 84. So x equals 84. Okay. Next we go on to number two. And again, I'm going to go like that. y times 37 is 37y equals 23.68 times 100. Whoops. 23.68 times 100. And 37y equals, when I multiply that out, it's going to be 2368. Then I'm going to divide by 37. Divide by 37 y equals, again I take my handy dandy calculator, 2368 divide by 37. Always put the top number in first, 64. Okay, so again you must show your work. If I just see y equals 64, I'm going to think you just cheated, so I don't want any of that. I want you to make sure you show every step along the way. All right, down here, again, we're going to do the fish. It's the same thing every time. 12 times r is 12r equals 100 times 75.6. 100 times 75.6 is 7560. Then we divide by 12. R equals, hopefully you're getting used to seeing different letters as our variable. So 7560 divided by 12. 630. Okay, the rest don't look too challenging. They all look pretty easy. I will go ahead and do... Um, number six so you can jump to number six from number three and I'm going to draw my fish a hundred times three is thirty two hundred or a hundred times thirty two is thirty two hundred equals a hundred and fifteen times V now we do not divide by thirty two hundred you must divide by whatever's in front of the variable here's our variable so we divide by hundred and fifteen So we can say V equals, so we put in 3200 divided by 115. Oh, is that correct? Did I make a mistake somewhere? 3200 and 115. Let me try that again. If you get a weird answer, I would try it a second time, making sure you put the numbers in correctly. Yep. I'm going to put 27.8 and round to the nearest tenth there. So it's 27.8. Okay. All right, students, you can get the rest of this. You rock.